I am here to tell you about our, one of our latest releases from Dean's Marine. Uh, it's an interesting vessel with a fascinating history. Um, we like models like that. Uh, this boat was parked, built and used in an experiment or expedition to Lake Tanganyika in German East Africa during the First World War. Uh, story is far too long to go into an interview like this, but a brief one is the Germans were using two large ships on Lake Tanganyika, which were guns that were removed from the sunk Konigsberg, uh, and they were generally taking over that area because they had no opposition. Uh, this gentleman called Strickland was uh, took on the job of taking two boats from Barrow, shipping them all the way to South Africa to Cape Town with traction engines and dragging them 5,000 miles across Africa to Lake Tanganyika, fitting huge guns on the front and then playing havoc with the Germans base there. Um, they did actually uh, sink one of the boats and capture one of the boats and stop one of the other ones running to ground. Um, it's a fascinating story. Go to the Lake Tanganyika ex expedition on the internet and have a real good read. It's the sort of thing that would make James Bond proud. You wouldn't believe it. This was the typical uh, Victorian First World War type entrepreneur. Totally barn pot and do anything you like and you can do anything because we're English. This is why we built the boat. Uh, they're called Mimi and Tutu. Two were built. Uh, this, uh, when they first went there and commissioned them, they said they belonged to the Royal Navy. So Strickland broke the Admiralty and said, I'm going to call them HMS Cat and Dog. A uh, huge furor about this because they're not big enough to have names and they can't call a boat Royal Navy ship Cat and Dog. So he said, well, we'll call them Mimi and Tutu, which is French for Cat and Dog. On an aside, one of the reasons why they chose this, because that's the way they worked. Right? Big gun on the front, one was the bait, the other one would come up behind the enemy and shoot it. If the enemy turned to attack the one, then this one would attack it from behind. Hence cat and dog, cat and mouse type tactics. Right, the kit, interesting one, small 124 scale, fiberglass hole. The superstructure is all laser cut plastic, high impact styrene. The deck is laser engraved veneer. Uh, fittings are mainly metal, white metal and brass for the uh, accessories. Two propellers and a single rudder as per the real one uh, and a skeg underneath for when you run it aground. Nice little boat and I think we've got films of it sailing as well. And It's the sort of boat, it doesn't have a lot on it but it's got a fascinating history. Which are the best sort? I like it, I like making it. To me it's 